Uh, thank you for that. So like, uh, uh, my name is Amarjit. I am having like uh, seven plus years of experience. Currently, I'm doing uh, uh, customization implementation based on the client requirement. So I am doing some Java development. So the technology which I use like uh, Java with the Spring Boot microservices, the Spring Cloud component as a backend. Some of the exposures in frontend as Angular 9 also have a good experience in AWS cloud services. So most of the services I use for this development of microservices. And uh, coming for the database, I have also good experience in this banking, telecom, uh, e-commerce and the health insurance domain. And uh, database, I have like uh, Apache, uh, sorry, database which I have like uh, Mongo and Oracle. Also have a good experience in like uh, all the DevOps tools like uh, uh, Apache Maven, Jenkins, Zira, GitHub, ELKS, Plunks and all. So these all are the technology step and domain which I work coming for like more my role and responsibility. So I am working for the agile. So based on the sprint, whatever the task will be defined, we need to work. So mostly my role and responsibility, uh, we need to develop a microservices, uh, which will be provide the end to end uh, customization and implementation for the particular microservices, which need to be interact from the different other services also for that we are using either rest template and kafka so that integrations also we are doing apart from this like uh, whatever the development we are developing so that will be go for the different different environment so once it will go for the particular production environment that need there in that time we can involve in this involve in this uh, call so what are the changes uh, happen uh, we need to verify all the configurations changes and what is the request we are sending what type of request will come once the deployment will happen and also we have to check all the proper validation security and enable logs are proper or not if not or if anything will be there then we have to do the some hot fix deployment or before planning for the deployment in production that we can modify the changes and all so these things we need to uh, we are doing on daily basis yeah thank you okay. to go so uh, I, I introduced myself as well sure. so I'm Aaron. I uh, uh, work here in my last uh, uh, one year and uh, I am designated as a senior since point senior mm -hmm. okay. so uh, okay so we'll cover uh, uh, Java core and uh, uh, Spring Boot some questions and uh, the rest structures and uh, I mean problem solving and uh, one <clears throat> maybe system design architecture if we are comfortable with that. Sure. Okay. Sure. Uh, so to start with the um <clears throat> oh, okay. Uh, have you like which DAO version you, you using right now? Uh JPA I'm using currently, uh that uh, right now. No, sorry, uh, come again. JPA, uh, JPA I'm using. Uh, so while we are creating a repository and all, so the JPA we use. No, uh, my question is like, which Java version? Really? Okay, Java version. Java version is like uh, 7 or 8 I used frequently. Okay. So, uh, what are the upgrades we have in Java 1.8? Yeah. Uh, yeah, there are multiple difference and uh, update is uh, update came in the Java 8, like uh, Lambda expressions, functional interface, date time API, and method reference optional, and a stream we can use. In a stream also we'll have a multiple uh, uh, methods are there so that we can fulfill the requirement based on this uh, like a predicate functions, consumers and all. Uh, apart from this, we'll have uh, some JavaScript. Uh, Related also features which is came in the Java. Okay. Sorry. Hello. Yeah. yeah sorry. Mm. Um, okay. Um. Can we can you share your um, uh, screen and maybe write it? small uh, uh, sorry your voice is breaking sometime uh, uh, can you hear me now yeah yes 
Okay. I'm saying that can you uh, share your screen maybe uh, uh, I, I just wanted to have a small uh, Sure. Yeah, it's fine. I cannot see. Oh. I, I can't see your uh, screen. Okay, just a minute. Now it's fine. <clears throat> yeah, I can see it now. Uh, so uh, let's suppose you have a list of uh, uh, students and uh, I like these students have scores multiple uh, subjects and uh, I want the candidate who has second maximum score in particular subject. So how will you uh, you know write the uh, Java stream based uh, function to uh, attend. Uh, sorry, can you repeat once again? Uh, if you want. Yeah, you can. You can write simultaneously. Maybe mm -hmm. I'm saying that. Uh, let's suppose you have a list of students, okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, these students have, uh, you know, scores for particular subjects. Mm -hmm. In computer subjects, uh, maybe uh, data structure, you know, problem solving, mm -hmm. uh, and so and so, right? Mm -hmm. and, uh, so, with Java Stream functions, you need to write a program where uh, you will give me the second uh, uh, highest over in particular subjects. Okay. And of that student. Okay, so. So here, like uh, based on this max, we can find it the second or whatever the first, third highest uh, we can get it. Because in uh, we have a max mean and all are there in this stream. But uh, this will give the first max, not the second max. Yeah, so for that second max, we need to like uh, uh, do some lambda expressions inside there. What lambda expression? Okay, just uh, max second maximum security to compare. And even though, <clears throat> uh, even though uh, my question was like, uh, there were like multiple subjects, right? Mm -hmm. So second max in particular subject. Okay. Mm hmm. And then we need to give the name of that student. Mm -hmm. So you are collecting it to a, again a collection. Mm -hmm. So I just need one name who has second maximum score in, let's say, uh, data structures. Okay. Second max of this. Just to test him.
So uh, in the second line, I mean, line number three, you are doing the same thing again. Uh, you are selecting it to a selection. And uh, why you are using map? What is the use use of map? Map is used to process the data. While we will use, uh, like uh, if you want uh, modifications of uh, like us. But I need a modification in the original stream. No. And uh, do we need filter here? Because I don't want to be data to be filtered. Okay. Right. Right. If I ask you, like, uh, remove all the students who have, uh, you know, who have scored less than this. Mm -hmm. But I didn't ask that, right? And map is not at all used. Like, uh, it is used like where I ask you to. Uh, maybe put a grade against the score, right? Mm -hmm. You you maybe have some calculations that this from range this 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 range to this range uh, put a grade like like that. So map is used there. Filter map is not used. Collection is again not used. So all three uh, uh, functions are not used. Okay, uh, let's do this. Uh, what is the uh, performance benefit of stream against the existing um, iterators and for each and uh, uh, existing collection dot short? What is the performance benefit over? Like Thank all you. these stream functions are there. Like like these these were there in the uh, earlier uh, versions, but uh, not in the stream name, right? So what yes. is the performance benefit? Why why we have this? Compared to this, uh, uh, like uh, iterators and uh, for each and all uh, sort, uh, streams have a uh, uh, like uh, best performance. Like uh, why high? Why like uh, we can say like uh, we uh, use a stream API. It's a Java eight features. There we can add multiples operations. Like based on this lambda expressions, we will process the data. So lambda expressions, we will remove the method, a name, uh, identifiers, return types, and all augmented and these things. So based on that x lambda, we will find it, and also we'll have a like a, a multiple methods are there like a mean, max, filters. Through that, we will process the multiple conditions sorts and all so through that uh, okay um so uh let's come to um data structures what data structures do you prefer if you need to um write a program for producer and consumer uh, uh, application. Maybe. If you know about this, then but otherwise you can ask what is the production consumer. Yeah, so producers and consumers mostly we used like uh, uh, Kafka we used like uh, Kafka will have a messaging uh, technique through the clusters. We can create, install the Kafka server, Jukipas and all. And then uh, we will use the round robin algorithm here. So that round robin algorithm, which will be perform this uh, data structures to fulfill the requirement. So once this multiple microservices need to be communicated. Oh, okay. uh, can you hear me? Yeah. So I'm saying that. Uh, sorry to interrupt. I'm saying that uh, you missed the question. My question was like, what is the data structure that we can use in producer and consumer uh, problem? Maybe. And uh, the thing that you are telling is Kafka. Uh, Kafka is in a different application which yes. serves the whole. Don't need to, uh, you know, write code for this, right? Mm -hmm. If you don't, if you wanted to uh, have a client and server, and then you can do. Okay. Uh, you know, yeah. That is not, not I'm asking. I, my question is different. Kafka is I'm not asking. I'm asking like if you need to let's say uh, write uh, multiple threads. Uh, uh, one thread is uh, uh, doing publisher or maybe producer's job 
and the other thread is consume doing consumer's job on mm -hmm. is producing elements one 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 two three one two three I think and uh, the other one is consuming these so what is the best uh, data structure that we can uh, have to solve this producers and consumers problem? yeah so round robin technique which i seen there uh, like uh, mostly we use or or Uh, round robin will have a like a list array list link link list i used tree tree set implementation 